Ah, my Coca-Cola shirt. Welcome, YouTube, to another, another, yes, I said another beautiful message from me. I am making another video because I saw today's episode of One Life to Live. Just watched it, just got finished watching it. And usually I go to sleep at this time. Uh, it's fun staying up all night and then sleeping during the day, especially when you have noisy ass neighbors above you. Real fun. And I try the trash bastard, but oh well, back to one night to live. One night to live today. It was a good episode, an eye opener. They still talk about the whole Todd thing. Star needs to stop. Stop her little hoe ways. Don't know how to do I mean, first it was Cole, now it's James. My father died an innocent Too young to be doing that, going from man to man. Then again, it's only your second guy, so it makes her look kind of bad, though. She does have a kid. Does she need a second one, people? No, she does not. And Destiny is still the... <sighs> Which... I don't care what bandwagon you're on, whether it comes to abortion or teeth. It's not even a bandwagon. It's a mere discussion of murder or common sense, decency, and courtesy. If you can't take care of your baby, there's adoption. That's what it's for. So come on. Step up. That's what adoption's for. There's no abortion. Should not even be in anyone's mind. And if they do that to Destiny, that'd be my least favorite character from now on. Just because of that. Disturbing and disgusting. Abortion. The loss of a life for any reason other than a person's own health being at risk, and because if the mother dies, the baby's gonna die anyway. So, yeah, you have to have an abortion. But I love how David walks in the room. Alright, we're watching my movie. Oh. Crap, she must have read the review. Get back here, Destiny. I like where she get back here, Destiny. Like, get, get back here, Destiny. What are you, you can't leave the room. You're playing my movie. It's Vicar Man. That's right, because when I play my movie, The Cassinator, everyone best recognize. Because I'm Joshua Cassie. I'm Joshua Cassie, bitch. And we said nuns, Rick James, bitch. Because everyone will know me. Everybody. But anyway, back to one life to live. Vicar's line was hilarious. How we trusted uh, um, Bo. And, uh, how, uh, Nora, it's kind of, it's kind of wrong to pressure her like that, just because you want to live vicariously through, you know, your grandkid now that, you know, you don't think your kid's going to make it. Because you don't think your son's going to make it, so now, I mean, you see your last chance through the grandson, through his son, or daughter, whichever, uh, your grandkid, his child, his unborn child. <coughs> I still gotta say. I mean, adoption is still always an option. Destiny? And the person who plays Destiny, man, you will help. A little, a little slack. Plain and simple. Unless the mother's life is in danger, there's no reason to need an abortion. Because, like I just said, man, the mother dies, the baby dies anyway, so you're gonna have to take care of that. But I would rather die the most horrible death than go to hell than ever kill any child unborn or born. It's just the electric impulse is sent to the brain. You're, you're just, you're worse than travel trash. But the, uh, the storyline, how they're doing it with Todd, the storyline, how they're, uh, how they're doing everything else with Vicky, letting him stay there. Scarface Todd forever. To all you other Todd like us. And of course, I find it funny how the fake Todd should be talking about DNA tests. When maybe Tomas really isn't the real Tomas. Maybe he's a fake. Did we ever think about that, people? Uh, eh? We never thought about that. Maybe he's also a fake. Lots of fakes. Anyway, the twins thing seems plausible. I can't believe my mother got that one. But yeah, twins seems plausible. Twins is I mean, not plausible. Twins is the thing. But now we just have to find out what's going on and how it's going to unfold from here on out. I'm so excited. But I gotta hit the hay, get a couple hours of sleep before I do my thing. This is gonna be a short video today.
So in short, one left to live. All the DNA tests are sweet and messed up. Todd's will debate. Vicky will talk to her brother, who doesn't like to be hugged. And everyone will wonder, when will Brody give up Leanne and say, all right, I'm not his dad. Here you go, John. And when will Destiny stop being a little tramp slut and not abort the baby, instead just carry her, give her up for adoption, and move on with her life? When will Nora move on and stop being in such drama? When will Bo be able to put the past behind him? When will Dave find someone who actually is interested in watching his movie and that's not in a coma? When, people, when? These are the important questions of one life to live. And I ask them to you.